much, Nick. Uh -huh. An angry father hopes to track down the driver who hit his child last week. The 12-year-old was the second student from the same middle school hit by a car during the first week of class. News on 6 reporter Chris Wright is live with more on that hit and run. Chris? Yeah, Jennifer, pretty tough opening week of classes for students at Whitney Middle School. Both of those kids who were hit by cars are okay, but the driver who struck the 12-year-old here at this intersection, 21st and Sheridan, took off and has yet to be found. The doctors tore this a little bit so they could get to the wound. You can see the blood there. Jerry Morgan has held on to the evidence of his son's close call last week. Burn marks down here. All this is ripped up, tore up. I mean, we just got so, so lucky. Whitney Middle Schooler Joshua Morgan was walking home last Thursday when witnesses say a minivan ran a red light and clipped his leg. The light green van kept going while Joshua dragged himself across the street to get help. He was incredibly upset. His, tore, his clothes were all torn. He had one of his shoes off. Blood was just running down his leg. Uh, really just shocked and panicked. Only three days earlier, a car hit a Whitney 7th grader crossing 71st East Avenue. The driver said the 12-year-old darted out into the street. Budget cuts have forced the city to cut a third of its crossing guards this year, and all that construction isn't helping either. Now, there's never been a crossing guard actually at this intersection at 21st and Sheridan, so the recent cuts wouldn't have any effect on the incident here last week. But with these signs turned off because of construction, kids crossing the street are pretty much on their own. Joshua is still sporting a big bandage, but is already back at school. He's no longer allowed to walk to Whitney, though, and his father hopes the hit-and-run driver has a crisis of conscience. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll catch him. It's uh, ridiculous that that's going on that, that, that close to a school. His father also says no one helped Joshua out at first. Eventually dragged himself across the street to uh, the Burger King behind me where a family friend happened upon him then eventually helped him get to the hospital there. Chris Wright, the News on